Uh, a lot of failed parking jobs this time as well, but the live swing has indeed started. We have five lights here at Austria for the third time tonight. Let's lights out and away they go. It's a very tentative start for a all the drivers. Very good start from Farmer Sam. He oh, chooses yes. to go to the inside. Farmer Sam and that Alpha Terry forces Gus off. Gus has had a dreadful launch off the line, and there's carnage. There's carnage already at turn one. The cameras aren't letting me see it all. Oh, Gus got caught up. Gus is all the way down to the last after that front row start. And we already have a battle for the lead pen. Uh, uh, Bunning Snag up the inside of turn three on the Williams of Kufu. Come on, Kufu's round as well! Oh, oh Paul Senna, Kufu is out of the race already! He's out, he's out. He just went straight into the wall, and I think we have a safety car from that. That is, that's a that's a full course caution. The safety car, Bert Mylander, out once again. So the front the front row... Is now the back! Is, is They're gone! The back. I don't think that's ever happened. Now, when will Snags go? I think he's going to do what everyone does and go out of the final corner. That would be the sensible option. Uh, no, he doesn't he, elect to. He doesn't elect to. He's got to go soon. He's gone now, that's and he hasn't caught late. anyone out. There's a McLaren off in the grass as well. That's where your boy he's dropping down. Start. Oh, Philly, he almost made the move on combined. He's been pushed off onto the runoff area. Band getting the position, same as Mike Hunt. He's going to be side by side with Philly. They're running down into turn two. We're seeing a move ahead from Combine going up to Farmer Sam. Combine has a little look into turn nine, but that's quite the audacious move. We'll see how the two Mercedes are faring. They're getting pretty close together as well. Oh, there's a spin. Oh, they have come together! No! The two Mercedes come together. Oh, it's Barcelona 2016 oh, all over again. That's Fast terrible for the Mercs. Combine getting really close. He's actually, oh, he has a little look for it, but Worry Boy as well. This time on the outside, battling with Psycho. Psycho defends to the inside, forces him along around the switchback. Switch Who has the better right foot? Oh, it might be the McLaren, but it's too close to call. They're side by side. Worry Boy on that inside line for turn four. It's like a little bit late on the brakes, though. Worry Boy turns in a bit early, but he's just going to squeeze out that Alpine. That's a beautiful move from Perfectly the McLaren. Beautiful move. Beautiful move from the McLaren. He knew the Alpine wasn't far enough alongside. He just closed that door on the exit. And we have Flyboy. Flyboy's out of the race. He is. And he's right in the middle of the road. That's another safety car. And that Mercedes is absolutely totaled. Bunning Snag. Lead them away once again. Does he try something different this time? He went fairly late on the last restart. Maybe might go a bit earlier this time. He's still keeping the pace relatively high. Trying to keep some temperature in those intermediate tyres, which is uh, well needed. So you don't want to have a restart similar to uh, how Khufu Cowboys race went. If you're there from last time, you go out the part of the corner. Oh, he's no. he's waited even longer. And this time, he's sort of caught, he's caught combined out. Combined's lost a place to Philly already. The green flag is Philly. on Z-Dog, Bandcamp, Psycho. Three wide at turn one. Oh, Apex the... smells blood. Oh no. There's another yellow flag. That's Dalek. Dalek's gone oh. around at turn one. And here we go. E oh, look at that closing. Oh speed. my goodness. We're on the rear view of the Alfa Romeo and it's just a joke. It's like he has DRS. Mika, I just went on board with the two cars. It is a 20 kilometer hour just difference. Bit of argy bargy into turn two though. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see how this, this rocket ship goes, or this, this missile. He's on an absolute charge. He's only five seconds off the lead. It's not over until it's over. It's not but... impossible, yeah. If he keeps this up. Oh, he's just reeling that Ferrari in, though. Absolutely reeling him in. Mike's still staying very close to the back of that McLaren. Can't quite find a way past just yet as Dalek and Bankhead are fighting in the background. But here goes Mike to the inside. Oh, he's about even on the brakes. He has to leave the room. Does he squeeze him out? No, but the McLaren has the grip. Can he send it up the inside? Oh, he does. Jesus. They're still going wheel to wheel. A very good read from Mike, though. Very good read. When you sit behind the driver for too long, the driver ahead can just... He knows your moves, he knows where you're strong and weak, and then he can defend accordingly. You've got to make the move in three laps. 
but Ferret, he's... But oh, come on, Ferret, I you have to I now. Back what I said, he might have a run. Oh, combined defense to the inside. Conrad Gondala getting three second penalties. We get the heli shot as well. Combined squeezy. Oh, he puts on the cab! Is that going to phase him though? The ferret elects to not counter attack. I don't know. I don't understand. Ferret should have just absolutely juiced ERS down that straight in the counter attack and gotten by combined, but he just elected not to. So he sucked behind the Ferrari on all tyres for the rest of the middle sector. I mean, they've caught Snag. Snag uh, is actually going really slow. He's got, He's got a puncher! He's got a left rear puncher! Snag has got a left rear puncher. Combined is going to take the lead of this race. And now Ferret's right on him! I think he's uh, setting up his attack now. He's using the Urs on the main straight, on the pit straight. He's definitely setting it up. He didn't use the Urs the last few laps. Here we go. Come on, please. Oh, he's used it straight from the corner. He knows he wants it. He smells blood from the Ferrari. Oh, here we go. To the outside. Combined fights it still on that inside. Leaves the room, though, and Ferret clean around the outside. The Mercedes is in the lead. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Look at this. He's not he wasting... Gonna... See, is what Ferret should have done at the beginning, but Mike, he down the inside, late on the brakes. Combined, Combined doesn't fight it. You can't, you can't put the power down. And that's, that's not enough. It's not enough for Z-Dog, but what a race for the Mercedes. Fat Ferret, he sees the checkered flag, and he wins the Austrian Grand Prix, and Mike... We'll take the second slot and combined we'll round out the podium, completing the zero stop race. 36 laps, ladies and gentlemen, on those intermediate tyres. Yeah, I mean, there were, what, three, four other drivers that managed to make it to the end? So it's either really bad RNG or just needs to be easier on the tyres. Like, he had the position. He had the gap initially, like as well. Like he was still making progress as well. The gap oh, yeah, was growing. It just doesn't the dice didn't roll in his favor. No, that's it. That's racing. Yep, and it is Fat Ferret on the top step. Well deserved. I mean that. I mean that Mercedes power unit very sussy. That that's. Uh, they must have done a power unit stop before the race because yeah, that that's... car was. A rocket ship. He was flying the whole race. Still well deserved. Takes the 25. Actually, do we know who got fastest lap? Uh, yes, yeah, Snag at the very end. Ah, yes, that would make that would make sense. So Snag gets two points to show for his domination. But the lap, the the race is uh, 36 laps, not 32. Unfortunately for him. And unfortunately for combined, he's only scored just. A few more points over his championship rival. So here's the final classifications. Fat Ferret in first. Um, on the three stop as well. So. Fortune favours the bold. Mike Hunt in second place. And combine YouTube rounding out your top three.